July 16th, 2019. I thought I would do a little bit of a more in-depth video about our veggie oil processing setup here. I've been working on it a bit and getting it kind of figured out, which feels really good. Um, so, as opposed to biodiesel, this is the system to filter straight waste vegetable oil. Um, my Mercedes over there is in the process of being able to run on that. So you're either converting the fuel or you're converting the vehicle. And in, in this setup, we're not converting the fuel. So we have just vegetable oil and we're converting the vehicle. That's its own, the vehicle is its own story. So I've been collecting oil in these IBC totes, international bulk container, um, for a couple years now. We have one over here, it's full. Each of these are 275 gallons, I think. Um, so we have basically four of those full. Um, the idea will be then to gravity feed from from these containers into this centrifuge. So one of our bigger investments into this setup was this centrifuge, which is made by this company called WVO Designs, and it's a really sweet setup. Um, it's got this AC motor, which apparently runs at 6,000 RPM, which is quite fast. I have it plugged in here. I have a cord running from the solar system, so it's all solar powered. Um, and plugged in is this little, I can't remember what this thing is called. Is it like a rectifier? Um, it's a power supply and it's an adjustable speed. You can turn it forward and backwards. Um, so let's shoot this on. Well, first, <clears throat> we have two we have two ways of getting the oil in here now. And there's this is where it comes in, either here or here. If it's coming in here, it's coming from this funnel. So I set up this funnel yesterday. Often I get oil in gallon jugs like this, and I can just plop them in there. And I timed it yesterday, it goes about a gallon, takes six minutes, and it'll just automatically like uh, kind of hopper into there. And then I hose clamped these, uh, this is a hose from a radiator from some truck we took apart at some point. All this galvanized stuff into here. And the other way it can come in is through this setup, which is connected to this tote and I adjust I adjust it from here <clears throat> then after it um, basically drops into here you can see it going and it goes into this bowl and you can maybe see all the crud on the inside wall there so this whole bowl um, spins. So, and the oil drops down into there and the heavy particulate gets pushed with cent centrifugal force up against the wall in there and it'll fill this bowl up to this point and then only the clean oil overflows and gets flung against this outer wall and then you can see over here let's see it gets collected and it goes out through that hole 
then when it comes out there it goes through this tube and here I can monitor through this clear tube it going into this this barrel so then we use this barrel for storage so it's a what 55 gallon drum and so that's clean filtered oil with all the little gristles and this and that taken out <clears throat> then once it's once it's in that barrel it's ready to go into the Mercedes and any other vehicle that's been converted one kind of missing link here is a dewatering system so ideally on its on the oil's way into the centrifuge it would be heated or somehow have the water evaporated from it in the cooking process this and that or if the barrel it was stored in was in the rain it can be uh, it can in, it can collect water and so that needs to be pulled out that's n definitely not good for the engine uh, it, it you know it goes to the bottom of the tank and then you can get just straight water going into your engine it just is no no good um, so that's a missing link here but we're, I'm using gravity right now to get the water off so the water goes to the bottom and then I before I hook it up to the centrifuge I open up the valve and let all the water out and then when it's only coming out nice oil um, with no water in it then I filter from there so we have a system that <clears throat> is is working it, it, it definitely <clears throat> just takes it will take some time which is fine these totes have been sitting here for some of them for years um, then once the oil is in this barrel I have this gas boy um, hand pump which uh, you just turn this lever and it pumps oil out of this nozzle here into a, into the gas tank um, <clears throat> that's that's basically our setup here. Um, I think when I have it running sometime, I'll do a, a follow up. But for now, there it is.